Okay, let's just say you don't know what you're doing. So the first thing you have to understand is what are the tasks involved in learning how to be someone and get a date? Well, first of all, you have to look like somebody she wants to talk with. That's number one above everything else. You have to have a good body. You have to have your hair cut in a, in a style that's appropriate to your age. That means don't try to look young. Uh, let's see, you have to be dressed for success. No matter where you go or what you do, you have to look like a successful person, period. No matter whether you're 20, 25, 28, 30, 35, 38, 40, 45, 48, 50, and so on. Look like you're successful. That's number one. That attracts women. That's number one. You've got to look like somebody you want to talk to, period. The second part of that sentence is translation, someone she wants on top of her. <laughs> that means you're clean and neat and not fat. Okay, clean and neat, not fat. No hairs growing out of your nose, no hairs growing out of your ears, no dirt under your fingernails, nice teeth. Everything's put together. You look put together. So that's number one. You've got to look like someone she wants to talk with. And that's in a book called Clothes make the man. Let's see if I got a copy of it laying here. Clothes make the man. It's written under my given name, John White, not R. Don Steele, which is my pen name. Everything you know to dress in a business suit, all the way down to what you need to look like in a swimming suit, t-shirt, flip-flops. Women notice everything. It also covers business business attire for traditional casual business casual companies you can dress in a suit all the way down to swimming suit and flip-flops in that book and it'll all be something that women like and makes you look successful period get that book period just i can't tell you anymore you've got to look like somebody she wants to talk with for anything can happen the next thing, the biggest mistake guys makes is going over and talk to the good looking girl at the party. Don't do that. Only talk to women who are interested in you. Why? Do you think you have a chance with her? I don't know. But going over and talking to her isn't the way to find out. See if she's sending you any nonverbal signals. Get this book, Body Language Secrets, A Guy During Courtship and Dating. It's all about what you see when you're, when you're see her across the room, and then when you're talking with her, and then when you're on a date with her. In this one up here, she's got her legs crossed, her arms crossed, and she's smiling. In this one, she's still smiling, but she has uncrossed her legs, and she has her arms crossed only. So she's opening up. In this one, she's uncrossed her arms and put them on her knees and is leaning forward. In this one, she's still looking at you, and touching herself sensually with the four big green lights coming at you. And you won't make the big mistake of going over and talking to Pam Anderson lookalike. Why? Because every woman in the room is watching her because she's the number one competitor in the room. If you go talk to her first, all the other women know they're number two or number three or number five. Bad idea. Now, pick up artists say, oh, just walk up to her and lay this shit on her and everything will be great. Horseshit. It ruined it for every other, you and every other possible woman in the room. Don't do it. That's mistake number two. First mistake is looking like a dork. Second mistake is not knowing which woman's interested in you. Third mistake is you don't do anything about it. You have to assert yourself. Now, I didn't write this book because I couldn't have written it because I'm not a PhD in behavior mod therapy. <laughs> but all the skills he teaches in here are common sense, simple, and easy to learn. One of the few self-help books that actually helps you. Gives you specific things to do, ways to say things, and I give you the ways to stand when you're saying them. It isn't just the words. Your, your whole body language is mostly the message. But get this book in the beginning. Read your assertive Bill of Rights, 10 Bill of Rights that you don't know you have right now. And then skip to the back and read each of the skills. Okay, and then watch all my videos on my channel about how to be assertive. 
and read the book and practice the book. It doesn't do any good to watch your videos and read the book unless you practice it. You have to go out there and practice it. That means you always have to be dressed for success when you leave the house. It means when you go to the coffee shop, you know which girl's looking at you and you know which girls were interested in you, okay? That's way above where you are right now. You know that you have to be dressed right. You know you have to, the woman has to be interested in you. And number three, you know how to be assertive. You gotta find her. There's a whole video on find her. It's all in this book too. Everything in there is find, meet, talk, date, sex with her, and a relationship with her. It's all in that book. Watch all the videos on that. When you get to my when you get to my channel, there are playlists up the top, and I have them grouped. Twenty are called Gantt chart something or other, and twenty they're called uh, Be the Guy Women Want. They'll be grouped together, so you can watch them all. Start with one and go to the end of whatever you're watching. It builds each time, so you get one skill better, to, better skill, and so on. You don't start off dating nines and tens. You don't do that. The same we have for guys that are inexperienced. You got to start at the bottom of the beauty scale down here, and the top of the age ladder up here. And as you get more skillful, this will come. This will happen. And about half a year, maybe a year into it, if you don't have any skills at all to start, you'll pass yourself going the other way. And you'll be at the top of the beauty scale and the bottom of the age ladder. That's what you're going to learn in the Steel Balls program. And you can start at zero and end up a hero, like the guy who drew Vince who made the Gantt chart. He was at the bottom of the bottle in the depths of despair when he found me. In 18 months, he was fucking uh, five different women at four different states. He was an engineer, a troubleshooting engineer. So you too can go from zero to hero. You follow his chart, the Gantt chart. The Gantt chart is a scheduling system and it has the tasks down the left side that you have to accomplish and they're approximately the order in which they have to be accomplished. And the time goes across this way. And which ha what has to happen first? Well, first you have to get up in the morning, <laughs> okay? Then you gotta wash your face, take a shampoo, brush your etc. That's, I'm joking. The first thing that you have to learn is you gotta get your mind right. You gotta get your head right. In case you have any psychological problems, you're shy, you're introverted, you're awkward, uh, you don't know how to carry on a conversation because of some self lacking or lower self esteem or whatever, You've got to solve that first. A whole bunch of videos on that. That's called Get Your Mind Right. And I think there are just eight, eight of those, maybe more than that. On everything I know as a psychologist, a guy who's fucked up in every possible way. <laughs> you can imagine when you get to watching the, the video on quarter, videos plural on quarter, I think it's the longest one, it's the longest chapter in the book. In the last video, it says, that the last uh, 10 pages of the chapter are all mistakes I've made. <laughs> 10 pages of mistakes. <laughs> and just That's just in courting her. That's not talking with her. That's in the courtship. <laughs> that's before you even get into a conversation with her, a long conversation. So you're gonna make mistakes, but the, the main thing you have to understand at the beginning of all of this, mistakes is the only way to learn this. You don't learn by sitting around reading books are going to pick up artists of boot camps and they take you out to bar and show you how to dress funny and paint your fingernails black and pick up girls. <laughs> okay, no, you learn all this by doing it with ordinary people. You learn how to date by dating women that'll go out with you, period. No matter whether they're at the bottom of the beauty scale or the top of the age, that doesn't make any fucking difference. If you don't have any, any um, skills, you gotta start up here where they're way too old for you and with not very good looking, and you get more confident and more skillful, like I said, you're going to pass yourself going in opposite directions about a year into it, worst case, if you follow the program. But some guys decide, nah, I'm going to skip all that. I'm going to go right here and start this. It won't work. If you don't like yourself, women aren't going to like you no matter what you do, period. So the first thing you, you have to do is look like somebody she wants to talk with, and that includes losing weight if you're fat. 
or gaining weight if you're skinny. You've got to look like somebody she wants to talk with, period. Otherwise, nothing happens. I'll put, a, I'll put a list of all the books at the end. I'll put a list of some of the videos you should watch. As you go by, date young women, update it for the 21st century and start there. Every book you need is mentioned in that book, but I'm going to put them at the end. So maybe you can get them cheaper, easier, and buy a lot at a time. They are so fucked up. You can't get volume two from Amazon, volume two of Date Young Women. Their, their purchasing department is fucked up so bad they've managed to mangle the computer programs to the point where I don't know what they're want, ordering and they're getting mad at me for not shipping it. <laughs> so if you want volume two of Date Young Women, which I highly recommend, which is, it's a big um, takeoff of one. It's basically a lot of the detail that I couldn't fit in the first book and keep it under 224 pages, which in the, in the late 80s, that was a mandatory number. People wouldn't buy a bigger book on, on uh, how to or self-help. They wouldn't buy a bigger book than 224. So the second book is 354 pages. <laughs> I had a lot more to say and a lot of detail and some more mistakes that I made and body language secrets. You can get volume two and body language secrets from me, only me, new. But if you order from me new, I'll send it, I'll send them to you. There's, I have used dinged copies of body language secrets, this body language secrets for $6.95, dinged up copies of these for $6.95 and new copies of both so if you want a new copy it's i think it's 15. if you want a ding up dinged up copy it's seven and then the postage so you can only get those two from me all the other books you can get from amazon idiots <laughs> okay this is don Steele. i hope you learn how to date and i hope i'm the guy who helps you learn until next time this is don Steele out <laughs>